Can you guys hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Okay, awesome. Okay. All right, welcome everybody. Let me just quickly see if, okay. All right, so welcome everyone. Um, this is Central Class. My name is Natasha and uh, thank you very much for joining in tonight. So before we start, I think it is one minute to go still. So just make sure that you've got a pair of uh, socks for your feet and also um, a pair of knee pads or a small towel. So small towel knee pads and a pair of socks it'll just help um, so you can just get those ready in the meantime all right so it's six o'clock i'm going to see how many are on hi hi nadine <laughs> long time no seagull <laughs> and christine thank you very much serena thank you all for joining and liz okay so just quickly, if you are feeling unwell or you have um, any injury or any pain, rather not participate in today's class. Um, and if during the class you feel that something is aching um, or you feel pain, change the position or adjust um, the range of motion for yourself. So if you don't have that pain, but if it persists, then rather just uh, stop the entire movement or the session. All right, so listen to your body. Um, and then next one, um, take a rest when you need it. So it will be um, quite intense on the upper body today. Um, and there will be a lot of hip flexor work. So um, we'll try, I'll try and warm you up properly before we start. So you have that full range of motion. All right, so I'm not going to take much of your time. Have your water ready, have your towel ready, have your socks and your knee pads ready. And then we're going to start. Okay, so exciting. Okay, so I hope you can still hear me. But all right, so we're going to start with our warm up. I'm just going to roll my wrists. So I'm interlace my fingers, rolling my wrists. You can just join me any direction you choose. And then we're going to change direction. So five circles to the other side. And then we're going to go into a wave. So keep your knees nice and soft and your tummy pulled in and then change direction. So this is the harder way. I'm going to challenge your brain as well today. <laughs> Not just your body. Okay, good. Now we're just going to take nice big shoulder circles. So taking the shoulders back and forward. Okay, and now I want you to roll your head, but think about rolling the upper back or the shoulders with that. So just nice big circles of your head. And change direction. So five, four, three, two, and one. Maybe I do need this after all. All right, so next one up, we're just going to mobilize the upper back a bit more. So I want you to round and arch. Keep a slight bend in your knees, tummy pulled in, rounding the upper back, arching the upper back. And that is two, three. Relax the arms at your sides. Four and five, really arching the back. 
and then change direction, so rounding. And drop your chin as well, move your head, work your back. And last one, good. Hip circles. So we're all familiar with these ones. Just slight bend in the knees and then just circling the hips to the left, back to the right and to the front. Nice big exaggerated circles. Activating the core as you tuck under and squeezing the lower back as you tuck to arch the pelvis. And just the other way, five circles this way. Good. Take your one arm up to the ceiling, and the arm stays down. You're just going to go to the same side, and up, and lower. It's almost like a one of those puppets. You're just going to try and bend and stretch the side of the torso, and change arms. Now the arm comes down, and same side. Swing to the same side. Keep your tummy in. Slight bend in the knees. And one more. Take both arms up. All right. So we're going to go and turn a full circle down and back up. So my right arm's up. I'm turning to the left. I switch arms and I come up with my left arm as I come up to the left. And again, big circles. So that's two. I hope you can follow with this one. Do whatever you can, just try and get a nice big round in the lower back. And we're going to change direction, so the other way around. Switching arms as we go halfway in the lower position. That's three. Really stretch it out as you get to the top. Four, and one more. Good. Now. We're going to do the same, except that this time we're not going all the way. We're just going to go here, around a position, and then arch the back. So if you do have low back problems, I'd recommend not doing this right now. But squeeze your glutes, bend the knees, tuck in the pelvis, keep the abs nice and tight, and just mobilize the upper back. Okay. So even if you just stay here, Arms here, in front of you, no problem. Otherwise, if you can take it behind you, it adds a bit of weight to your back. And last one. Excellent. Okay, so staying here. We're just going to mobilize the lower back a bit. So we're going to arch our way down as we bend our knees. And then we're going to roll the spine back up to standing and again arching down and rolling up don't lose control of your stomach as we go down pull it in arch keep it keep it tucked in and roll back up so one more time keeping the tummy in and rolling back up arms overhead dive down flat back and roll up Inhale, dive down, flat back, and inhale, one more time, diving down, flat back, and rolling up, one last time, excellent, let's open our legs nice and wide into a nice big straddle, you're going to come full forward, Grab your elbows and just bounce up and down, feeling the stretch in the back of the hamstrings. For five, four, three, two, one. And lean towards the right leg and lean towards the left. And to the right and to the left. And right and left. And we've got two more on each side. We're just opening up, feeling the flow. Good. Last one. And we're going to hold this plie. Just open up the legs nice and wide. Use your elbows to open the knees and feel the stretch on the inner thighs. And we're going to hold this just for five, four, three, 
two, and onto the toes, one, two, so come onto the big toe, three, four, five, six, and seven, last one, eight, feel the stretch again, open the knees, okay, now lengthen out one leg into a nice deep side lunge, and then walk your hands to the other side. Okay, so we're going to try and get a little deeper every time we walk. So that's one, and two, and three. And so as we switch over, we are staying quite low. If you have to come up to a tripod, that's fine. That's okay. If you can stay low, that's great. Okay, just working a little deeper into the stretch. So we'll do one more to the left and walk one more to the right and then we're going to turn into a long lunge. So open up this right bent knee away from you and really bring this hip down to the ground. Try and keep that leg nice and straight. Okay. So it's quite hard so you have to squeeze this quad muscle. Now you're going to walk your hands back to the other side. Open up the bent knee. So really push that knee away and flex or tighten that quad muscle, that front of the thigh. And walk to the other side. One. Two. Really driving that hip flexor down. Try not to arch in the lower back. So keep the tummy tight. Three. And four. Now on number five. We're going to walk over and you're going to lift your bent knee arm up into the sky. So you're going to have a bit of a twist in your torso. And you're going to come down the other side and twist. Come back, walk it over and twist. Reaching behind you a little further every time you reach up and behind. See if you can turn the torso a bit more and twist. I hope you're keeping up. I hope I'm not too fast. If you do four and I do eight, no problem. Okay, we're going to do one more on this side. Excellent. So now I take this back leg and I just bring it in towards the front foot. Okay, so I can sit, and then I'm in this little pretzel, so I bring my arm over, and I just stretch the glute, and I twist the spine, looking behind me. This is the time to have a sip of water, or take a breath. Good, and now, Open up the legs and then we're just going to drop them to the sides. So hip opener swivels, that's what I like to call them. And this is a great opening hip opener to work on your internal and external rotation of your legs, of the hips. Good. And we're going over to the other side, bring this leg across and stretch it out. So, so make sure, yeah, right side. Okay, so, I'm just stretching out those glutes on the other side. Taking a nice deep breath in. Okay, coming for me into your plank position. So hands underneath your shoulders, and then you're going to step back one leg Pull in your tummy towards your, your spine. So pull in your navel deep towards your spine. Lift the other leg for me. Wrists over shoulders. Okay? Keep nice and long in the posture. From here, this is where socks come handy. If you don't have socks, you use a towel. So you just step on your towel. Okay? And then you bring your knees in towards your chest. If you do have socks, you don't need a towel. So tucking in the pelvis slightly, keeping the back nice and long. Bring the knees in towards your chest. Try not to come up like this. Take it back. So keep the knees nice and low. 
and take it back. Also, don't come forward. Try and stay in line, um, shoulders over wrists. And we've got four, three, two, and one. Take it back for me. Drop onto your elbows. I know that was quite hard. So now we're going to just do a quick rainbow. So I'm dropping my hips and I drop my hips. Lift up, other side. My feet are twisting with me, okay? So as I twist my hips, my feet are also turning. But I try to keep my hips up. So it's four, two, and back to center. Okay, so not too much of a workout, just a warm up. Next, we're just gonna work on the shoulders again. So I want you to place your hands underneath your hips and your knees underneath your, sorry, your knees underneath your hips, your hands underneath your shoulders. Then we're going to dip down, so you're gonna bend your elbows, not out to the side, but rather tuck them in towards the body, okay? So bend the elbows, bring the chest down, back to center, and change direction. Back to center, other way. So we're warming up the triceps, the arms, and we're also waking up and working in the shoulder blades. So as we push up, the shoulder blades are pressing away, and as we come down, the shoulder blades are squeezing together. Don't forget about your tummy, keep it nice and tight. We've got four, three, stagger for me your hands one more time, two, one, just stagger the other hand to the front and circle, one and two, very good. All right, well done. I think that was all for warm up today, so you can just have a sip of water and then we can get going on our routine. Okay, so I hope you're ready. Put on your, your knee pads. So, if they are on, that's awesome. Then you have more water time. Okay, so if something feels difficult, I will try and give you uh, easier modifications. But just do what you can. Um, and you've got the video for the whole week, so you can practice it as many times as you like. Okay, so we're going to start in our introduction. So basically it's going to be a floor routine right through. We're not standing up at any time, we're staying on the floor. Okay, so when the music starts, very nice song, very slow song. If you want to download it, it is Weather from, um, is it now Ivis or Livers? I'll put it in the description later for you. Okay, so very nice song. You can just open your legs a little bit, find a good base stability, and then you can swing your hips side to side. Okay. This is why the socks are quite nice to protect your feet. And then you can just imagine drawing a figure eight with your shoulders. So this shoulder is going back and that shoulder is going back. Then this shoulder. And as you make, um, taking the shoulders backwards one at a time, you're also swaying your hips towards the, the direction that you're moving your arm. Okay, so it's this type of figure eight. And then we'll take the arms up the body over the hair, up to the top. Then you'll flex the palms or the wrists and bring the arms down to your sides. Then we're gonna dive down. So dive down all the way onto your stomach, right? I like to do it with one arm, but you can do it with both arms. So you can dive down both arms and then I come up into a cobra. Okay, so once you're in the cobra, you will just do one, two, and three. Okay, so let's do that together. Starting hip, a uh, little bit of a um, diamond shape here. 
You're just gonna sway left to right, take the shoulder back, one, and two, and three, and four, and draw the hands up the body, through the hair, to the top, okay? Flex the fingers or the palms, take the arms down, and then dive down. So I also like to lift one, one knee as I come down, it's totally optional, and then I come into my cobra, both feet up down on the floor. And then from here, I'm just going to go one, two, and three. Okay. So we'll try that one more time and then we'll move on to the next exercise. So we're going one, two, three, four. Drag the arms up the body, through the head, to the top. Flex the arms down and dive down. So I lift one leg up. And then I come up into my cobra and I go one, two, and three. Then you come down onto the mat, place your hands next to your shoulders, close the legs. We're going to come up into a pike. So there. So this is quite hard. You can try that quickly. If it is too hard, I'm going to give you an easier variation. So if we are here and we're in our cobra, you come down onto your chest and then the easier variation is to press your palms into the floor, tuck your elbows into your sides and then just come onto your knees. Okay, so you're here. Then you can drag this foot up to the knee and tuck the toe so you can stand up. But keep this one curled until they are together. All right. So from here, you're going to come up onto your knees. So the important part is to keep the elbows tucked in. Tucked in, bring the leg up until you're in a pike. And then just scoop the feet back a little bit so you come into a down dog. All right, so even if we are here and we come up into our pike, you have to untuck and then go into your down dog. Okay. It just looks better when the head's in line with the arms as opposed to over there. So important to go into your down dog. So let's do the dive down into the cobra and then up into pike. Okay. Remember there's two variations. Do what you feel comes easy. Okay. So we're going to dive down, diving down onto the floor into our cobra. One, two, three. Come down for me. Press your hands into the cup, into the floor, and then come up into your pike. And curl your toes and walk your feet back until you are in a down dog. And then we're going to walk it out. So the important thing with the walk here is unlike our normal walking in our normal down dog, this time we're going to turn the heels in towards the other angle. I'm going to show you from this angle quickly. So when you are here, this is our normal walk. But when we do this one, we want to think about turning the ankle in towards the other foot. This creates a swivel in the hips. Okay, so once you've got the ankle turning in, then you can also swivel the hips and you've got this flowing hip movement. So even if it's from the side, you'll still see a nice sway. All right, so if we are here and we walk our feet back and then we just turn it in and try to stay on the toes. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then you're going to come and take this leg up. So let's just quickly warm you up there. I forgot to add this was part of a warm-up, but I forgot. Okay, so down dog. Bring the knee in towards your chest. Take the leg up. And two. And three. So it's a bit harder because we've got socks on, right? So we're slipping. And 
that should give you a little bit of range of motion there now. You probably only work one side tonight, so I'm just gonna warm up one side for you. But okay. So we're gonna walk it out. When we walk it out, we're going to a one leg dog. So we bring the leg up towards the ceiling. And then we're gonna bring it underneath. So let's go. Let's go from our press up into our pike, into our walk, and then I'll show you where that goes to next. Okay, so onto your stomach. Whichever way you find comfortable, press up into your pike, walk or slide your feet back into your down dog and just walk it out for four, three, two, and one. Lift that leg up as high as you can. You can even open up the hip in, in a scorpion. But then you're going to bring it underneath. You're going to lift this arm up, drop this leg down, and come into your mermaid. Okay, so it's quite easy. So don't think too hard about it. If you are here and you're in your down dog, you're going to lift up. Bring that leg underneath and sit down in a mermaid um, attitude position. All right. So once we are here, we're going to practice that just now. Once we are here, we're going to bring this leg forward and take it back. And bring it forward and take it back. So you can bend the knee up, straight leg back. You can keep it straight and straight okay it doesn't matter use the hand to almost pretend like you're bringing the leg up and then press it away so it gives this emphasis with the with the hands and the body so bring the leg up and press it away and bring it up and as i'm doing this i'm almost doing a body wave with my torso and my body so as this comes in i'm tucking under and as i push back i'm arching the back so I've got this body wave going as well. Okay, so we only need to do three of those. So I'll spare you the pike. We'll go from the down dog, lift into one legged dog, and then come thread through into our mermaid and a leg wave. Okay, so going into down dog. Okay, so going into down dog, we walk it out one two, three, and four. Take that leg up as high as you can. You can even open that hip and then bring it through and bring the leg forward and take it back. And forward and take it back and take it back. So those are three leg waves. Okay. So I hope you are able to follow so far and that um, it's not too hard. So let's, let's do it from the beginning um, and then we'll get to this point again and then we'll take it further. Okay. So we'll do it once all together and I'll put the music on and we'll do it with the music and then we'll try the next move. Okay. So in this Sorry, this is actually a frog, right? Frog, frog stretch position almost. So in this position, we're going to start and take the shoulder back and two. Two, so it's three and four. And bring the arms up through the hair to the top. And bring the arms down, down, down for me. Good into your cobra and one two and three lower down prepare for your pike and then walk it out so you are in your down dog and just walk it out i'm sliding quite a lot of these socks today so it's okay and you're going to take it up to one leg and bring it through and bring that leg forward and take it back and forward and scoop it back and two and three now 
Okay, so let's do that with music. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry, this turned off in the meantime. Okay. Okay. And two, three. So you can also just swing your head around, bring the arms up. Spin me around in circles, I'll be your head. Face it down. Side. So I'm not spinning backwards, I'm actually taking this leg back and this body forward, back onto my tummy. Okay, so once you are here, you've got that momentum, you bring it in, your last one, and then you swing it around and you land on your stomach again with this one. Okay, so give that a quick try. I'm going to have another sip of water. Just swinging the leg to the side. So you're still a mermaid. You swing. The momentum of this leg swinging this way throws your body onto this hip. This leg untucks. I actually then lift it up and I flip over onto my stomach. Okay. So once we land on our stomach from that movement so i'm gonna go to do it from there so i'm there and i turn onto my stomach i can keep this knee up because what i'm going to do next is come up into i like to call it an inchworm so it's probably a worm maybe it's a speed bump it's a lot of names for it but what i do essentially is to make it easier i press my hands into my sides like the pike thing, so I, I can slide my knees in towards, towards my shoulders. Otherwise, to make it a little bit more sexy, you would take the arms up in front of you. Okay, so whichever way you choose, um, maybe I should put them here, whichever way you choose um, is fine. You could even also extend one arm, one arm presses here, so maybe the other side so people don't see this arm and it looks prettier. So you can come up, okay? And then once we are here, I drop this foot down and I keep this really exaggerated arch. And then I'm going to come down and circle. So I'm going to draw a full circle all the way around. So essentially what's happening is my hands are keeping me in place, my ass is up and every time I come down I'm either sliding my knees away to create some space for me to come down or um, if you are over here then you can just keep the arch as much as possible. All right. 
So we're going to do three circles like that. So we'll do it together again. We'll do a leg wave, spin onto your stomach, up into a worm, and then we're going to do three um, hip circles there. Okay. So into mermaid. Bring that leg forward, take it back, and then take it across onto our stomachs. Okay. Bring the arms up into, so I'm actually going to bend this one, and lower that leg. Now, draw a nice big circle. So I'm actually bringing my hips like we did with the plank earlier. This is a tick-tock. So we're going to do a tick-tock circle when we're coming down. So it's one, two, and three. Up to the top. Bring that leg back up. Now I want you to bring this arm in towards the sides again so that you can push yourself up into this pose. So when I'm here, I bring this arm back in to my brace up position. My back is still arched, this leg is still lifted. I just basically drop my hips to the side. As I do that, I press my hands, press my body up. I bring this knee in. And I land in this pose. So this is just like some sort of sexy pose. Okay. And now if you are here, you can we can do a nice little head roll. And then from here, we're going to take this arm and press this knee away. Open up into this diamond butterfly stretch. Press the knee away. Bring this knee together. So this arm now goes to the ground. And I go onto my knees and I open up again. Okay, so it's going to be from here, we're going to drop to our sides, press up into this position, roll the head, take the knee over, and open up into your tri onto your diamond here again. Okay, so let's give that a quick try. So I think what we should do is we should do it from the leg wave. Spin onto the floor and we'll take it from there. Okay, so let's do all three leg waves. Okay, so one, take it back, two, take it back, three, take it back and swing the leg around, come onto the stomach, take, bring the hips up as you take the arm out to the side and then drop that foot so that you can do nice small circles. You can even bring this leg, this arm down here. Maybe it looks prettier. Okay, once we've done three, bring, bring the arms together, drop the hips up into this pose, give it a swing around and there. Okay. So, shall we try from the beginning of music up into this point? Um, Yeah. Hope I'm not going too fast. Right, so swaying my hips, my arms go with me. Two, three, and four. Spin me around and Take the arms up. And bring the arms down. Diving down. Come with me. Into your cobra. Bring the 
palms together. Open up this leg. Okay, this pose. got to there. Then our last move, we're just gonna, we land here, we bring our arms, sorry, we land here, we bring this hand up the thigh, over the hip, and then you place it behind you. So as we spin, we open up, you just bring this hand up the thigh, over, onto the floor, and then we're going to come into an arch. So from the side, it's basically just here, take the hand back and then arch as much as you can. So pressing the hips up and then just extending the arm straight to the ceiling. And then we come down and we're done. Okay, because I see we're running out of time. So you can do that. Let's practice that real quickly. So from yeah, we're going to come into our pose, a head roll, around, onto our knees, open up, bring the arm in between the thighs, behind the buttocks, and press up to the ceiling, bring the arms down, and one last body circle, like our warm-up earlier, okay, and then there. So let's do it on music. We can try and do two times, um, then it would be great. Okay, so starting from the beginning. Over here. Okay, so we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, arms up to the body, through the hair. Spin me round in circles, down, diving, up into cobra, one, two, three, close the legs, bring the arms together, pack it up, and walk it out, down dog, remember, and two, three, four, Take that leg up to the ceiling, thread it through, and leg forward. Two, and three, and then we're going to swing the legs around onto our stomachs, open up together. Drop the leg, and circles. Two, Three. Hold it there, bring the arm in, roll up, head circle, take the leg around, open up, into your cow stretch, fix the arm down, okay, awesome, <laughs> that's one minute and 40 seconds routine so far, well done. Okay, so we'll do it one more time if you're keen. Um, and I think maybe I'll slow it down a little bit. Okay, so sip of water if you want. Starting over here. And one, two, three, and four. Diving down, oh sorry, up the body. Spin me round in circles, I'll be your arms down. So go down into your into your mind and my body. Cobra. Come there with me. And down together with the feet. Go to your pike. And to your down dog. Big 
circles. So I think we can squeeze one more round in and then I'll quickly do a quick cool down for you. Um, so I think this was fun. Let's just do it one more time. Okay. I always say three for quick measure. So here we go. Okay, legs are open. You sway side to side. Just feel the music. Maybe what I'll do is gonna give you a bit of bit of music here. Just in case. stretching here so I think just to stretch out the back real quick come into your bike for me and then you reach nice and tall and then forward you're reaching for your toes and then straighten out your back okay so just try and keeping your straight back here so let's see what time is this okay so we are one minute over sorry um Good. And then if you want to, you can just do some hip flexor stretches quickly. So important here, pull in the tummy really tight. And I want you to arch your lower back. So this is not going to be effective. You actually want to take the pelvis and tuck it forward. So bringing this hip forward. And you can squeeze this glute a little bit, this buttocks. You can squeeze it. Keep this knee over this one, and you can do little rocks, okay, but keeping your tummy nice and tight. And then we're going to switch sides, so the other one 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and really pushing this left hip forward. So the back leg, I'm pushing it forward, I'm squeezing this back glute, I'm anchoring with this foot, and then you can bring your arms over as well. And you can bring this arm over as well. And then last but not least, take the arm of the tricep over your head. Try not to open up the chest too much, so bring the ribs down. And then grab the elbow and reach your fingers for your back. And if it feels comfortable, try and walk your fingers down your back. It makes it a little harder. 
And also think about actually, like what we do, some of us do, we actually sort of dislocate the shoulder and we go back. So think about squeezing that shoulder blade down and then grabbing the tricep. That that's quite effective. And the other side, so shoulder blade down, bring the tricep overhead. Now drop the ribs, pull in the tummy, and pull the elbow back, fingers down the back, walking down the back. Keep that shoulder blade depressed. Awesome. Just flexing out the thing fingers here. Again, thank you very much for joining. You can leave your comments in the bottom if there's any suggestions, um, you know, things that you feel that I should, maybe we should work longer on the routine. Whatever you feel like, you can add it. The routine is on the Facebook page. Um, so you can practice it all week. And I'm going to post the name of the song, which is quite nice. It's very, very slow. You can basically do anything on that song. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. We've got more classes coming this week. So please check in every day and stay fit and stay healthy. Nice to see you all. Bye. How do I go out? <laughs>